Hello, Sacred Heart. We're trying something a little bit different for my message this week. I've got some important information, some student celebrations. So sit back, enjoy, and thank you for your attention. We've had an exciting few weeks in our upper school athletic department. Not only did our field hockey team win a Catholic League championship in triple overtime versus St. Catherine and Siena, they also won their first state playoff game this week versus Mercy. We also have two all Catholic cross country runners in our midst. Congratulations to Morgan McNally, who placed 10th, and Avery McNally, who placed second in the Catholic League championship. Led by Sacred Heart swimmers, Eileen Wallace and Keeley Coyne, our Bishop Foley Sacred Heart co-op swim team beat Regina this week, 122 to 43. Eileen Wallace took first in the 100 meter butterfly and the 500 freestyle, and Keeley Coyne took third in the 200 meter and first in the breaststroke. The state competition is coming up soon and we wish them the very best of luck. We've now had a few reported cases of COVID in our community, and I appreciate the support I've received from so many of you who have offered prayers and good wishes. Our recent student case in the kindergarten is doing just fine and I'm assured is working and playing quite comfortably at home with very light symptoms. I'm very appreciative to nurse Robin Clements and our leadership team who've done such a great job planning for and then responding so quickly and efficiently. The teachers quickly switched to remote, and I know they are already looking forward to seeing the students back in person on November 3rd. These are not normal times in schools, and the daily stresses of the pandemic, the additional protocols, and the additional instructional expectations have been a lot for teachers to handle. But this group of educators is doing an outstanding job of caring for, teaching, and loving each child. With all this in mind, we are seeing a surge in cases both statewide and in particular in Oakland County. And we are counting on you to do everything in your power to keep your family safe from the virus. Halloween is coming up, which is followed by Thanksgiving. And as we are seeing all over the country, small gatherings amongst family and friends have been in many cases, the place where the virus is transmitted. Before the surge, I had plans to travel to my sister's house and celebrate Thanksgiving with her, my other sister and my parents, but out of an abundance of caution, we have since thought better of this decision. Putting together all of our families, including all of the high school and college age nieces and nephews just seemed too big a risk for all of us involved. We're working so hard to provide in-person instruction for our students, and we are only able to do that if we're all making similarly wise choices. I'm asking each family to do their part and celebrate these upcoming holidays in creative but safe ways. Please keep these celebrations to your immediate family only. Before school started, I remember speaking to a parent in our community who is also a physician, and she reinforced the importance of masks and social distancing. She equated it to both using your brakes as well as your seatbelt. If you do both of these things, you are much more likely to stay safe. I'm asking you all to commit yourselves every day to wearing masks and to social distancing. Our community's health and our school's ability to remain open depend on it. This week we celebrated the feast of Mater Admirabilis. As you can see, I have a beautiful picture of Mater looking over my shoulder. Every day I get to see this image when I'm at work. This image of strength, of peace, and of love centers me each day. And I find myself often placing my burdens at her feet and asking for her intercession. In Sacred Heart schools, we are devoted not just to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, but also to Mary, the mother of our church. Our second graders performed an amazing play that does a wonderful job of telling this unique story in our Sacred Heart history. Please take a few moments to enjoy their awesome performance. So please, mask up, socially distance, and wash your hands. We've got this, Sacred Heart.